Introduction to Macbeth, Act 1. So we first of all start off with the introduction to the witches. They're set up as very creepy and potentially all-seeing. Next, we see Macbeth. He's just fought a massive battle and has won. He's saved Scotland. Woohoo! Then, after this, Macbeth gets up and goes to see his, br his mate, Banquo. Banquo and Macbeth go and see the witches. And the witches tell him that him and his mate will be very powerful people. And that Banquo's kids will be king. And that Macbeth will also be a king. Macbeth is a little bit cheesed off as it means his name will not be in royalty for future generations. I mean, Banquo's a bit annoyed because he won't be king. But, you know, he doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> this is a key point where the friendship declines. Banquo is declared the Thane of Cawdor. Basically just like a really posh lord man thing. By King Duncan because Macbeth is like slayed a bunch of people and like saved Scotland and all of that. Macbeth is not satisfied with his power though and this is where we start to establish him as an anti-hero. So he starts to ent entertain ideas of regicide in a soliloquy after being told he's going to be the Thane of Cawdor. He then goes home to his wife who immediately emasculates him for not being able to bench press a thousand kilos. Oh yeah, she also like tells him he should like kill the king or something, I'm not really sure. Uh, very healthy relationship goals right there. Also, this kind of treatment by a woman would have frustrated the Jacobean audience, not really because of any of the murdery death bits, but mainly because she has free will and speech. She manipulates him by telling him he'd be a bigger man, and he goes with it, but still thinks it's wrong. But I just guess he loves his wife or something. We also get hint into the merciless nature of Lady Macbeth, who said she would kill a child rather than break a promise to him. And Macbeth is like, wow, yes, mm, I love this woman. We, so we go into Act 2 with Macbeth and Lady Macbeth ready to kill the king. Will he do it? Well, yes, yeah, there's four more stanzas. But like, it leaves the audience wishing to hear more and keep them on the edge of their seats. Thank you for listening and it's been under two minutes. Well, hey.